All right, I picked these up probably a couple of, well a couple of years ago. I picked these up. They're uh, dual bladed inline spinners. Got them real cheap online. I don't remember where I got them. I'm trying to find them on the internet right now. See if they still sell them. They're pretty cheap. I probably got like five or six of them. And it's an interesting design with the dual blades. But uh, no. the problem with the dual blades is they don't work. So uh, when they start spinning, the blades hit each other. And it, it, the two blades prevent each other from spinning. So they don't work at all. But if you were to uh, take that and cut the uh, first, the smaller blade off the front, it starts working. So the bigger blade works fine if you cut the small blade off. And uh, I ran out of my other inline spinners, my rooster tails and stuff. I lost the last couple I had. So I'm going to cut these, get them into functioning inline spinners, and I'm going to take them out and use them, see if I can do anything with them. All right, I'm gonna try to do this in front of the camera where you can see it, but see it's got the two blades there. Go ahead and clamp it on with these big heavy duty pliers. And, well, cut through that, that section of the blade pretty easy. Left a little, up oh, yeah, came off all the way. So. It just leaves that little ring there, which is fine. That doesn't affect the spinning on it. But now it's just a single bladed spinner. Alright, today I'm kind of doing the opposite from what I usually do. I usually park and then start fishing that area, work my way to this end. But I always end up running out of time and I don't get to spend much time fishing over here. So I parked and I walked all the way down to this end. I'm starting here and working my way back. Is that a fish already? Wow, look at that. First cast. Got one almost instantly. It's a little, it's a sunfish. On the first cast. Am I even recording? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Went right after it. That's always a good sign get something there's my first cast challenge I shot out here a while back didn't get anything so let's give it another one whoa something popped on it on the surface there Here we go again. Oh, that one slipped off. <laughs> that felt felt a little bigger, but I don't know. I don't know if that was any bigger or not. Throw it over here, run it along the bank. There's one. It's another little one. It's even smaller than the first one, but ah, it's a different one. This is a red breast. Oh, look at that. I already got a bite as soon as it hit the water. I think I might actually have the fish. Is that fish on there? Yeah, got a fish. As soon as he hit the water, he took off with it. But he's so small, I couldn't even feel him fighting.
There we go. Another little red breast. There's another one. Oh, he slipped off that time. Oh, there we go. Oh, I lost that one too. These are real small over here. That's why they're, and it's kind of a big hook, so I'm not getting the hook sets on these. But that's three casts in a row, four casts in a row. This one I got him. It's not coming off this time. It's a little green sunfish again. There we go. That's four fish landed. Lost a couple in back to back casts there, but that's four four casts in a row with a bite. Get up into that curve over there. I know that's where a lot of them hang out. There we go. It's another one. It's another little green sunfish. I mean, these aren't the fish I've been. I was supposed to be targeting today, but uh, it's all right. At least I'm catching something. All right. Well, I went yesterday, fished with the uh, inline spinner for a while. But I didn't. I wasn't satisfied with the results. I, I didn't. All I got was sunfish, and so I'm gonna give it a shot today. In this area, I haven't been in this area in a long time, so let's see if there's anything around here. Which this is one of the most highly pressured areas in the entire city, so it's certainly possible I don't catch anything at all over here. I guess it's lost its depth. It's real shallow in there. <laughs> There's a snag. Oh man, are you kidding me? That's not a snag. That's not a fish on my that is a snapping turtle. Man. I didn't even bring any pliers or anything to deal with this. Look at that, there was a snapping turtle. Thought I was bringing out a log or something. He's hooked right in the mouth too, like this. <laughs> that is a snapping turtle. Oh, thank you. Straighten up the hook a little bit and he's going off safely, but I got my lure back. I was gonna cut the line. Whew. That was luckily for me, snapping turtles' jaws are so tough that it, it wasn't able to get into the bone. So well, it straightened out just enough where it popped free. And uh he's over there. And uh, you know, I'll say that was finally the first real test I've had under this rod. So uh, he's across the way there. He actually looks like he's hunting again. That and he's coming back. Yeah, he's hunting. Look at that. He's already chasing another fish. Like I just had him hooked in the mouth, and now he's chasing fish again. Coming back in this direction. He's under the grass over there. Whew. That was. Uh. That was both good luck and bad luck. It was bad luck that I hooked a snapping turtle. Um, any other kind of turtle, you know, soft shell, slider or something, I can get the hook out of those. These, I'm, I don't like messing with these. So, 
yeah, that was, that was something else. Is that a fish? Oh yeah, that's a fish. It's not a bad one either. Oh, and he slipped off because I didn't set the hook. He oh my God. That was probably a combination of things. I don't think the hook's straight enough for him to get off like that, but that could have been a factor. I think the main factor is I didn't really set the hook because I really wasn't sure if I had a fish at all first. That is no cat. I don't know if you can see that. Hey. Oh, no, he's running this direction. I'm backing up. Well, that skunk made it through the fence. And he kind of... I think he might have been following me there. He followed me down there. That direction a little bit. And then I came back this way. And now he's coming this direction too. So I'm going to get out of here. 